powerful Nerdcast assemble! Stay dandy, baby. Here's an episode of ReZero which is bookended by two amazing scenes. But aside from that, I think this is another solid episode of ReZero, so let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to be blasting through this review because I'm very short on time, but I wanted to give my quick thoughts about this episode. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First and foremost, the scene at the beginning was awesome because Subaru had just run into Echidna, who was in a school uniform in his school, which was a massive fabrication which was created by her it was a crazy trial that he had to go through apparently we learn one of three major trials that he's gonna have to go through and the first thing that he actually ends up saying to her is that she looks really good in the uniform and honestly she does but just like the last episode, which was pretty damned amazing, this scene was really important, showing that even though everything here was sort of fabricated from the actual mind of Subaru, it still gave him the strength to move forward and to sort of reconcile with everything in his past. Essentially, that's what the entire trial is all about. But according to Echidna, there's two more things to get through, and it looks like Amelia is going to have to be doing it, and basically she is the absolute mayor of Strugglesville, because she just cannot seem to get through these trials. Every single time she does it, she seems to be confronting something from her very own past, which is completely messing with her head. Speaking of heads getting messed with, we get what I think is probably the most important scene of the episode, where Subaru confronts Roswell about what's really been going on, and apparently we get to learn that all of the events which have been cooked up with the whole witch's cult and everything is actually all a part of Roswell's ridiculous plan. Now, to my understanding, the reason that he's actually been doing all of this and allowing the witch's cult to do their thing is that he's basically prepping Amelia to take them down so that 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 way, she wouldn't be associated with Satella anymore. At least that's kind of what I'm actually gaining from this. Basically, it's going to give her a lot more pull with all of the citizens of this fantasy kingdom. And while it's not necessarily a bad plan, there's some sort of other ulterior motive going on here. I've never fully trusted the character of Roswell. Maybe it's just the fact that in any situation, even with something really dangerous or kind of freaky, he's always got a weird smile on his face. I just don't trust that guy. So essentially, Amelia tries the test a couple more times and things don't really work out. And that's when Subaru and Garfield decide that they're actually going to leave this barrier place and he's going to return to the mansion. And this is where I bring up the whole book ending scene because at the very end of the episode, we get the return of everybody's favorite disemboweler, Elsa. That's right, she finally returns for the first season, promising that she would make her grand return, and she's doing exactly everything that she loved to do before, which is cutting people open and watching their guts spill out all over the place. It's a really freaky scene, because I honestly thought something really bad was going to end up happening to Rem again, or maybe even Frederica. When he actually enters the mansion, everything's all really creepy and ominous, and as he's running just out of nowhere, he's suddenly cut, and he ends up tripping on his very own intestines. It's bloody, it's crazy, it's over the top, and it's exactly the type of thing that I would expect after the last episode, which was very much a very good feeling episode, but ReZero just does that thing where it just loves to just completely go into a different direction just to mess with your head and to give you a little bit of shock value. And guess what? It worked. So what's the rundown on this episode of ReZero? Like I said, I'm sorry that I have to go really fast on this episode, uh, but overall I thought this one was really good. A very big juxtaposition to the last episode, which is very happy feeling and good times, and this one just went into a really dark direction by the end of it. And, uh, you know, I, I'd say at this point that uh, Subaru's probably used to dying, but he probably did not want to see Elsa anytime soon. And her appearance in this episode was completely unexpected and definitely one of the most shocking things about it. But again, this entire episode is letting us know that these trials are going to continue and they're going to be very difficult. I want to see more of what's actually going on with Amelia. I really hate that they're just leaving that from us. I want to know what sort of trials that she's trying to endure because this is basically the lowest that I think that we've actually seen her in the series and I just want to see her do something. I've said that many times but I just want to see Amelia do something aside from standing around and always looking pretty. That's just kind of the thing with her character. Also, is it just me or does Garfield have a thing for Ram. But yeah, otherwise, I still think this was a pretty decent episode, building up more of where this crazy story is going, and painting some of the characters in a very different light. They're all coming up with their own weird, crazy plans, and some of them I can justify, and some of them I think are a little messed up, like with the things that are going on with Roswell. Otherwise, another pretty strong episode of the series. I'm gonna drop a 5 out of 5 on this one, if only for the really great scenes at the beginning and the end, and even the middle material is pretty good. If anything, it was a pretty delicious anime sandwich. So there it is. That's my thoughts 
on the episode. I'd love to get yours. Make sure to sound off in the comment section below, and please subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. I would also really appreciate it if you gave this video a like. I would also like to thank all of my Patreon people. You guys have been doing a great job of donating to the channel. Make sure to donate, and I will review an anime series of your choice, as well as adding your name to this list of really awesome people. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time, and as always, stay dandy, baby.